Hi there, and welcome to Triangle Minds. In today's video, we will explore the wonders of the universe, the most intriguing and mysterious phenomena in the cosmos, black holes and tidal disruption events. It's a lot of science, so hope you're ready. Let's get started. Black holes are some of the most enigmatic and fascinating objects in the universe. They are regions in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. They are formed from the remnants of massive stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel and collapse under their own gravity, creating a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume at the center of the black hole. Black holes are invisible to the naked eye and can only be detected through their effects on nearby matter. Black holes are characterized by their event horizon, which is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the gravitational pull of the black hole, not even light. This means that black holes are invisible to the naked eye and can only be detected through their effects on nearby matter. One of the most fascinating aspects of black holes is their immense gravity. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so strong that it warps the surrounding space-time, causing time to slow down and space to be curved. This phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing, and it can be observed when light from a distant object is bent around a black hole, creating a distorted image. You may have seen this being explored in movies such as Interstellar by Christopher Nolan, when a supermassive black hole called Gargantua has a gravitational pull, which shows this visually and effectively dilates time on Miller's planet. We will revisit this more in depth in the later part of this video, so stick around. Black holes come in various sizes, from tiny ones that are just a few times the mass of the Sun to supermassive black holes that are billions of times more massive than the Sun. Supermassive black holes are believed to exist at the center of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way galaxy. Despite their fascinating properties, there is still much that we don't know about black holes. For example, scientists are still trying to understand what happens to matter that falls into a black hole beyond the event horizon. Some theories suggest that the matter is destroyed and its information lost forever, while others propose that it is somehow preserved and may be able to escape the black hole through quantum processes. The idea that information can be lost forever in a black hole is known as the black hole information paradox. This paradox arises from the fact that according to classical general relativity, once an object falls into a black hole, it is trapped behind the event horizon and cannot escape. As a result, any information about the object, such as its mass, charge or angular momentum, should also be trapped behind the event horizon and inaccessible to the outside world. There are several theories about how matter could be destroyed, and its information lost forever once it goes beyond the event horizon of a black hole. One such theory is called the no-hair theorem, which suggests that black holes have only three properties, mass, charge, and angular momentum. According to this theorem, any other information about the matter that formed the black hole is lost forever. Another theory is the firewall hypothesis, which proposes that there is a region of intense radiation just inside the event horizon of a black hole that would destroy any matter falling into it. This would result in the destruction of the matter and the loss of its information. The firewall hypothesis is controversial because it contradicts some of the basic principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics. A third theory is the Hawking radiation hypothesis, which was proposed by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s. According to this hypothesis, black holes emit radiation due to quantum mechanical effects near their event horizons. This radiation carries away energy from the black hole and eventually causes it to evaporate. The information about the matter that formed the black hole would be encoded in the radiation emitted by the black hole, which means that the information is not lost, but is instead stored in the radiation. There are also several theories that propose that matter falling into a black hole may not be destroyed or lost forever, but could potentially be preserved or even escape the black hole through quantum processes that occur beyond the event horizon. These theories attempt to reconcile the apparent loss of information in black holes with the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics, which state that information cannot be destroyed. One such theory is known as the holographic principle, which suggests that the information about matter falling into a black hole is somehow encoded on the event horizon itself. According to this theory, the event horizon acts as a two-dimensional surface that stores all the information about the matter that fell into the black hole. The information is not destroyed or lost, but is instead encoded in the quantum states of the event horizon. This theory has been used to develop a framework for understanding the behavior of black holes and the information paradox. Another theory is the fuzzball hypothesis, 
which proposes that black holes are not point-like objects, but instead consist of a dense collection of strings and other quantum particles. According to this theory, the information about the matter falling into the black hole is stored in the fuzzball, rather than being lost or destroyed. In this model, the event horizon is replaced by a fuzzball surface that encodes all the information about the matter that fell into the black hole. The fuzzball hypothesis is still being developed and studied, but it has the potential to provide a resolution to the black hole information paradox. A third theory is known as the ER equals EPR conjecture, which proposes that black holes are connected by wormholes, or Einstein-Rosen bridges, to other regions of space-time. According to this theory, the wormholes provide a means for information to escape from the black hole, even though matter falling into the black hole cannot escape. The wormholes are thought to be connected to the quantum states of the matter that fell into the black hole, allowing the information to be preserved and potentially even retrieved. These theories are still being developed and refined, and there is not yet a clear consensus on whether matter falling into a black hole can be preserved or escape through quantum processes beyond the event horizon. However, the exploration of these theories has opened up new avenues for understanding the nature of black holes and the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics. In recent years, there have been exciting discoveries in the study of black holes, such as the first direct detection of gravitational waves, which were generated by two merging black holes. The process of a black hole merger can be broken down into three stages, in spiral, merger and ring down. During the in spiral stage, the two black holes orbit around each other, emitting weak gravitational waves. As they get closer together, the waves become stronger and the black holes spiral faster. During the merger stage, the two black holes finally merge together into a single larger black hole. When two massive objects such as black holes orbit around each other, they emit gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time that propagate outward at the speed of light. These waves carry energy away from the system, causing the two objects to gradually spiral closer and closer together. As they get closer, their orbital speed increases, and they emit stronger gravitational waves. When the two black holes get close enough, they begin to merge, sending out a final burst of gravitational waves that can be detected by sensitive instruments, such as the Laser Interferometer, Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO. It is a ground-based observatory that was designed to detect and study gravitational waves by the motion of massive objects, like black holes and neutron stars. The gravitational waves produced by such a merger are some of the strongest and most dramatic events in the universe, equivalent to several times the mass of the Sun. Finally, during the ring-down stage, the newly formed black hole settles down into a stable state, emitting a series of weaker gravitational waves that gradually fade away. The exact pattern of these waves depends on the properties of the black holes involved, such as their masses and spins. The detection of gravitational waves from black hole mergers has opened up a new window onto the universe, allowing us to study some of the most extreme phenomena in the cosmos. By analyzing the gravitational wave signals, scientists can learn about the properties of black holes such as their masses and spins, and test Einstein's theory of general relativity in the extreme gravity regime. You've made it to the part of the video where we discuss in more detail the effects of gravitational pull of black holes. Tidal disruption events, TDEs, occur when a star gets too close to a supermassive black hole and is torn apart by the black hole's tidal forces. As the star approaches the black hole, the side of the star that is closest to the black hole experiences a stronger gravitational pull than the side that is farther away. This differential gravitational pull causes the star to become stretched and distorted, eventually leading to its destruction. As the star is torn apart, its debris is heated to extremely high temperatures, causing it to emit bright radiation across a broad range of wavelengths, including X-rays and ultraviolet light. This radiation can be detected by telescopes and used to study the properties of TDEs. One of the most interesting aspects of TDEs is that they provide a unique opportunity to study the immediate environment around a supermassive black hole. When a star is disrupted, some of its material is ejected from the system, while the rest falls into the black hole. This falling material forms an accretion disk, a swirling disk of gas and dust that orbits around the black hole. As the material in the accretion disk heats up, it emits intense radiation that can be detected by telescopes. By studying the properties of this radiation, scientists can learn about the physical processes that occur in the accretion disk and the behavior of the black hole. For example, they can measure the mass and spin of the black hole, as well as the structure and dynamics of the accretion disk. 
TDEs are relatively rare events, occurring only once every 10,000 to 100,000 years in a typical galaxy. However, with the advent of new telescopes and observational techniques, such as the Zwicky Transient Facility and the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, astronomers are discovering more and more TDEs, allowing them to build a more complete picture of these fascinating events. You may be wondering, why is there a need to study black holes? For starters, black holes are like cosmic laboratories where we can test some of the most fundamental laws of physics. By studying black holes and their effects on surrounding matter, we can learn more about the nature of space and time itself. They have a significant impact on the surrounding space and matter. They influence the behavior of nearby stars and galaxies, and can even shape the structure of the universe itself. They are like the engines that power the universe. They provide the energy and momentum necessary to drive the evolution of galaxies and shape the structure of the cosmos. The mysteries of black holes and TDEs continue to captivate scientists and the public alike. Who knows what other secrets these cosmic phenomena hold? One thing is for sure, exploring the mysteries of the universe is an endless journey of discovery. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and comment down below your thoughts. See you next time.